Hello, I'm Sheila Ward with the International Society of Tropical Foresters, and now I'm going to talk to you about section 1.4 of the first week of the workshop on developing funding, a funding proposal for your chapter. And this will be on the capability statement for your ISTF chapter. Now, the capability statement will go along with the chapter strategic plan. It should be about one page in length and it will describe what your chapter is able to do, its strengths to be able to carry out the planned activities. The outline will be the first, the capabilities of the chapter to carry out the plan and carry out those activities. And then number two, solutions for shortfalls. Okay, first make an assessment of the skills and knowledge and other resources that exist among your chapter members. You all know something, you all have skills. Maybe you, somebody has a truck that you can use for transporting seedlings for one of these activities. Okay, then, so make a list, compile a list of all those knowledge, skills, and other resources your chapter has that might become useful for those activities you've got in your strategic plan. Also think about your linkages with other resources. You all probably have links with maybe an academic institution, another nonprofit, maybe some other entity organization that has some additional resources that they'd be willing to have help with a particular aspect of a pro an project or an activity. Then the next thing to think about is the solutions for the things that you don't have, the gaps, the shortfalls. So if you don't have a particular knowledge you need or some skills you're lacking on how to plant seedlings maybe, um, what else can you draw on? Where can you get the information or the skill set that you're missing? Well, one thing you can do is draw on the entire network of ISTF Global. For example, we have a senior resource pool, experienced foresters who are willing to share their knowledge with other members. So then after you've done this, after you have this chapter strategic plan and the capability statement, you then have the basis for developing a proposal to take to different donors or different funding agencies, okay? This capability, this strategic plan plus capability statement could in itself be sent to specific donors or organizations for financing when the plan falls within something those donors are looking for. Maybe you may have are such an exact match, you just send them the strategic plan and they go, oh yeah, we'll make a good connection here. But don't try to be part of a funding landscape you don't fit into. If a funder, a donor, and it doesn't really, isn't looking for your kind of project, look for people that are interested in what you want to do. Okay, so your assignment then is, we have all these chapters and chapters in development that are developed, putting together their um, chapter capability statements. So we hope that you will read and comment on the capability statement of two other chapters or chapters in development. Then we will trade back the comments and you can edit, edit your draft capability statement in accord with the comments you receive from others and with the guidelines offered in this presentation. So we thank you for listening to this and for any questions or comments, contact tropicalforesters at gmail.com and we'll see you in the next video.